Queen Elizabeth, she's sick. What's going on? Are they looking after her? That's what this is going to be about. If you like the video, I hope you do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So yeah, Queen Elizabeth, who's looking after her? How in the world does she get COVID? What's going on with her staff? Let's ask some questions. Okay, so this is the newest edition. This is uh, the second time I've purchased from this group. Uh, and uh, the, these cards are called Revival Art Tarot, second edition. And uh, they're from Taracho uh, Studios, which you can see right here. And they come to me, for, I think it's from Russia via the Netherlands, but uh, they're a lot of money. And um, but they're beautiful cards and you'll see. So they come in a very typical little cardboard box. No big deal there at all. Um, then the um, instruction booklet, again, is not uh, anything to write home about. It's just a typical little instruction booklet. The one good thing is that it is easily uh, read. And uh, in the uh, regular, uh, in the lower arcana cards, They've got an extra card in each uh, suit. So, you know, you've got cups, wands, swords, and uh, I can never think of the forward suit off the top of my head, uh, pentacles. Uh, but so you, they go all the way to the ten of, of swords, for instance. The next one then should be a page, but here we have a princess of swords. And then after the princess of swords, you still get the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. So you have one extra card for each of those four suits. So instead of 78, uh, 79, uh, 80, 81, 82 cards total in the pack. So that's interesting. So if that princess um, confused you, you could just take those four cards out and use them for some special occasion or never use them at all, or put them in there. And uh, this gives you an idea of how to divine the extra card. Uh, so very interesting. Then the cards themselves, they're really good stock. Uh, once you get them broken in, and what I mean by that is, you know, when they come off uh, production, they're really pressed together and there's no air between the cards and you can't hardly get between them. So it takes a little bit of shuffling and, and getting them uh, some air between the cards uh, before they're usable, really, and, uh, and not sticking to each other. And then the back of them is beautiful, and I haven't discovered anything particularly unusual about the back, um, except maybe until this very minute. Let's see. If you have the cards this way, you'll notice that there's a very small little rose right here. So if you see that small rose here up at the right-hand corner, then you know this card is going to be upright as it should. However, if this card was inverted, that small little rose becomes two roses. Okay, so if you see it, two roses up here rather than one, then you know that card is going to be inverted. So that's the example. Uh, I like knowing that. I don't know. It just gives you a little edge uh, when you're dealing the cards. And now I can straighten them out and not have to turn it over. I know that this, this is uh, inverted and this is straight. Now, to look at this art is amazing. And each one of these is a work of art that's referenced in the guidebook. For instance, uh, if I look at this uh, Fool, number one, of the Major Arcana, and it tells me that the Fool uh, is, in fact, the name of that piece of art is called A Jester by Philippe Mercier. And, um, and then it gives me the uh, divination for the card, um, beginnings, uh, possibilities, pleasure, etc. The next card, The Magician, if you were to see that one, that is a work of art called The Astronomer by uh, Candlelight. The Astronomer by Candlelight. And it's by, I guess it's going to be Gary Du. So uh, my foreign pronunciations aren't very good, but I do give it a try. So the cards themselves, you can see they go right to the edge of the card. They're beautiful pieces of art. And thought has gone into choosing these cards for the um, uh, position they stand for. The one thing uh, that's not uh, evidence, for instance, um, they're not always um, clear that, for instance, a two of pentacles is a two of pentacles. It might not have two pentacles on the card to tell you that. So they're a little um, interesting there. You should kind of look through the cards and understand what each one stands for first. But, I mean, look at them. They are absolutely beautiful. And it always feels to me like uh, intention has gone into making the selections of these actual pieces of art before uh, they uh, turn them into uh, 
tarot cards, and I like that. And I think you like them too. Okay, so this is going to be the queen. And um, I don't know, I've got, let me see, one, two, three questions. And um, I don't know. I hope they're not too sensitive. So I want to know uh, three things. I want to know, and it seems like a foolish question to ask, but is everything being done to keep her healthy? And does she intend to reign until her death? And, um, you know, her grandfather, King George V, they, the physicians kind of determined when he would go out. They administered a lethal uh, dose of uh, painkiller, I think it was, at the precise time when they preferred that he be, I mean, it was inevitable that he was going to pass, but uh, his passing was uh, manipulated so that he died uh, in um, in a way that would, would uh, be reported in the morning newspapers, which is interesting. So, uh, but before we do get into that, let's just have a minute of meditation. That's all it takes. So let's see, we'll just jump right in. Three cards. Um, is everything being done to keep the queen in the best health possible? Of course it is. But I just want to see what the cards have to say about that. Okay. I don't know why, but I've, I've tried to uh, think about making that question something else, and I just can't seem to bring myself to do it. So one, two, three. Is everything being done to keep her healthy? First card. Wow. Okay. First card then is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords is really a nightmare. Um, it's it's um, the Swords of Truth, uh, Justice, Rules, Law, and it's interesting that the way this nightmare is depicted is by some uh, nuns kind of peering through the keyhole, keeping watch, but the door is barred. They can't go in. So what is this? What does it seem to say? So the nuns would be, you know, the ultimate in uh, uh, protection for a person, you know, care for a person. But they're just outside the door. They're not being let in. They have to peer through the keyhole to see uh, what's going on. And the question is, is everything being done to keep the queen healthy? And we have um, the grace of these nuns having to peer through a keyhole. The uh, next card for that uh, is the four of coins. And the four of coins is trying to hold on to your value. Okay, it's not wanting to let go. Coins, pinnacles are uh, uh, money, uh, value, um, and solid worth. Okay, and so the four coins is having is holding on to that value. So is everything being done to keep her healthy? We get the nine of swords, which is a nightmare, and uh, just, uh, oddly depicted. And then the four coins holding on to your value. The last card for that then is the five of coins, and this kind of mimics the first card, and this is being left out in the cold, huh? It's very interesting. So this is not a positive uh, answer for that question, but I'll just read the cards. So the question is, is everything being done to keep the queen healthy? The first card up is that it's a nightmare. Does that mean the difficulty of keeping her going? I don't know. The second card up, right in the smack dab in the middle, is holding on to the value. So it seems to me, this seems to indicate that it's the monarchy uh, and the, the machinations of the monarchy wanting to hold on to the value of that uh, monarchy, that monarch, uh, the queen. And then the final question, uh, the final card, rather, is the five of coins being left out in the cold, um, depicted by this mother cradling her child and, and looking in very much despair. I don't think that this is exactly a yes answer. It's, um, so I'm just going to leave it to that and let the you viewers decide. Interesting. The next uh, question that I have is, uh, does she intend to reign until her death? Does she absolutely now? Okay, we know that that's what she declared so many years ago. I think she was 21 years old. But uh, what is her intention right now? Uh, we feel like we know that her intention is to stay. I think that's how we feel. We know that her intention is to stay right until the end, whatever that may be. But uh, is that still her intention? Does the queen intend to reign until her very end? Three cards. Okay, one two, three. They seem like obvious questions, but uh, the cards for that first question weren't so particularly obvious in a positive way. So does the queen intend to reign until the very end? Now. Is that her intention now? 
Okay. Out of this, we get the princess of coins. So the uh, coins are, are value or worth. The princess is the very uh, least uh, valuable of the court cards. It'd be the princess, the prince, the queen, and the king. And um, this is interesting. So the princess of coins, I think she. this is recognizing her diminished uh, value, princess of coins. The second card up is the Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of the Knight is the fellow who's going to fight for the right. And look at this very majestic looking knight. This is magnificent. Beautiful steed. Uh, look at that great big eye of that horse really staring right at us. And this uh, knight is completely confident in his uh in his uh stature here. So yes. That's a big yes card. She's going to fight, regardless of whatever diminished capacity she has. And then the final card for this is the Magician. Love having this card here, because the Magician is the is the card that has everything that he needs to make a thing happen. My uh, little laptop's going off, so let me give it a touch. Everything he needs to make it happen, to make a thing happen. So, yeah, I think she can, understands her diminished capacity. She's going to fight uh, like the Valiant Knight on this white steed, uh, with wands being uh, plans. Okay, that's her plan. And the magician, she has what it takes to make this uh, happen. Okay. There we go for that. Now, the last question I have then is, um, will she be put to sleep like her grandfather, King George V? Um, is that something that's going to happen to this queen? In the end, will some physician, will some committee, will someone somewhere decide that the best thing to do for whatever reason, for whatever reason, is to administer some sort of a lethal concoction to um, manipulate uh, the when she actually passes. Let's do six cards on that. Will she be put to sleep like George V? Horrifying. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, Six. Okay, six cards for this insane question. Will she be put to sleep like King George V? Signifier card is the King of Coins. So the King is, is the very most valuable of the coin uh, suite, and uh, coins are of value. So um, this indicates uh, the Queen's uh, immense value. She is the King of Coins. Uh, challenged by what? It's challenged by the Knight of Cups. So the Knight is the warrior. Cups are compassion. Oh, yeah. The, the value of this king, if he were so sick, would be challenged by the compassion of the Knight. The Knight is the one who's going to fight for the royal court, but this Knight uh, wants to fight with the Cups of Compassion. For suffering, perhaps? The base of this reading, then, is judgment. Well, it speaks to exactly what we're talking about, doesn't it? The passing of, of the queen. So the base of this whole thing is the judgment that is pending. It's pending all of us, really. And then the past of this, wow, is the, is the government. So in the past of this reading, bringing up a strong case is the government. So the government, uh, and this is, this, the Hierophant sometimes for me represents the monarchy, but in this case, I think this represents the government uh, bringing up the past. And it was the government that uh, made the decision about Queen George. It was Parliament. The sky of this reading is the Four of Swords. And uh, Four of Swords is uh, really speaking to needing to take a break, knowing when it's best to just lie down and 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 don't do anything for the moment. That's the sky of this reading. Wow. The final outcome then uh, for this question is, uh, will the queen be put to sleep? Is the queen of coins, uh, again, the queen of value. And uh, I think this is speaking to the queen again. She's a bit diminished from the king, but she's still clearly the queen of coins of coins. And um, this uh, tells me, I think, no, that, that her value is going to be recognized. And um, and um, that's very interesting. So let's just talk about it all again. So the signifier card for will the queen be put to sleep like her grandfather George V was, the king of coins is saying, listen, this is a valuable, valuable person. It's... Um, Challenged by the Knight of Cups, the Cups of Compassion, the Knight of Compassion. This would be the knight that comes in with a fight to say, let's be compassionate in this and let's 
perhaps do that what was done to King George V. The base of this whole thing, of course, is judgment. It is the, the passing, and that's the question that we're dealing with. That's that's what's ruling this whole uh, thing. And in, in the past of this is the government, and the fact that the government is in the past, I'm going to say the the, the government will, will have... A, will not have a strong decision on what happens in the present. It's in the past. And then up in the sky is the Four of, of, of Swords, which is knowing when to take a break. Knowing when to take a break. And that's kind of the question that we're asking here uh, a little bit. And then the final outcome of the whole thing is that, no, this uh, diminished king will still be recognized as the queen of value. And I believe this tells me that things will be lit to happen in the natural way that they should. Look, she's been on the throne for 70 years. It's amazing. And I hope she outlasts everybody and just carries it right on through to William. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.